Oh say can you see by the dawn's early light Donald Trump is going to launch social media platform called Truth Social. This is what we're talking about today. This is pretty interesting. As we know, Donald Trump a little while ago was uh, banned by a lot of different social media platforms. And I'm gonna show you the list of who actually banned them, him, right, as, as, as of now, so far. But yeah, he's bringing out his own social media. Uh, this is my little <laughs> president, little dancing, uh, you know, solar toy. I guess there's a solar panel there and it basically moves backwards and forwards kind of thing. Uh, anyway, if you guys think this is interesting, let's talk about it today. We're talking about things every single day in the studio on this channel. Channel 2. All right. Are you okay, pussy? Are you all right? All right, good girl. All right, <laughs> getting back to what we're talking about. So look, the reason Trump was banned from most social medias is because of the United States Capitol attack, which he did not instigate like he, he he telling the people to come that day may have been a indirect cause of that attack but he didn't directly tell anyone to attack anyone so it's just your word against his word against their word against you know it's anybody will say whatever they want to say right but he technically didn't instigate any violence it was indirectly indirectly instigated and because of that Social media platforms absolutely don't want anything to do with them anymore. Here's a quick list of that. Amazon, apparently don't want anything to do with them anymore. Apple, don't want anything to do with Parler. Well, Parler was one of his, uh, well, was one of the social media accounts that he jumped onto when Twitter kind of got rid of him, you know? Discord, all right? Facebook, as we all know, Facebook don't want anything to do with them at the moment. Uh, but they will be re reviewing this ban in two years <laughs> shit right but anyway google jesus what is going on right uh instagram pinterest reddit shopify jesus shopify what the hell snapchat TikTok, uh t twitch twitter didn't i didn't realize donald trump was gaming on twitch but hey you never know you might want to do that someday so that just in case they, he was going to do that you're fired donald <laughs> Uh, Twitter, as we obviously know, YouTube, geez, that's a freaking shame, isn't it? Uh, God, they they really went crazy on Donald, hey, they, they absolutely went crazy on him. And as a result, he hasn't been able to, you know, speak the things that he wants to say. And look, I made a video about this on YouTube, and I will link it in, th in the description below. The fact that big tech can do this to the world's most powerful man you know, the president of the United States, well now the ex-president of the United States, obviously. The fact that big tech can do that to him means that none of us are safe. None of us, all right? Uh, free speech as we know it is pretty much going downhill. If you haven't seen this coming for a while, then you know, you've been living under a rock, all right? So Donald Trump is going to be launching his own social media from this website. Uh, okay, let's start from the start. So Donald Trump has announced plans uh, where are we? To launch a social media platform called Truth Social that will be rolled out early next year. Now, if you if you do Truth, right, T-R-U could also be used for Trump. T-R-U-M-P, T-R-U-T-H. So it's kind of a, you know, play on words, kind of. You got what I'm trying to say. Uh, the former president, who was banned from Facebook and Twitter earlier this year, says that his goal is to rival the tech companies that have denied him the megaphone that was the paramount that was paramount to his rise absolutely right uh, he had so many followers he was hugely followed right on twitter at least i'm excited to soon begin sharing my thoughts on truth social and to fight back against big tech trump has said in a statement now trump announced the news the news in a press release which we'll quickly show you now this is the actual press release and i'll push it over there and look if you guys want to pause this at any point in time to read any of that, then please do. I'm talking more slowly so we have something to talk about while I show you down here. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Now, going back to what we're saying. So, the press release, right? On Wednesday, 2021, October uh, is when it was released, right? Saying that the platform will be open to invited users only for the for the for the better launch right for the beta 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 launch in november but if you want to join it don't worry never fear right with plans to make it available to the broader public in the beginning of next year 
of 2022, obviously. Now, Truth Social will be a product of a new venture called the Trump Media and Technology Group, which was created through a merger with Digital World Acquisition Acquisition Corp. Now, the group said it seeks to become a publicly listed company. If you think Trump has potential to get big again, then you may want to put some money into this company on the stock market kind of thing when it goes public. You may make some money, right? This, I mean, this, this could, it might not be as well, but this could become a billion dollar social media company. We don't know at the moment. You know, who, who would have thought Twitter and Facebook and Instagram would have become, you know, billion dollar companies, right? Uh, will this company become a multi-billion dollar company? We don't know, obviously. Who knows? It could become an absolute flop and fizzle out. Or it could become something really good. We just don't know at the moment. Remember Casey Neistat, who I am a huge fan of. Uh, he vlogs on YouTube, right? With the sunglasses, right? He released a, 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 an app called Beam, a social media app called Beam. And it was really, really clever, right? You, you, you did a, it did, you, you, how do I say it? You made a quick little video, right? Uh, when you released it from your chest, because there's, there's a sensor on the phone, right? And there was no editing. So as soon as you release the phone from your chest, you speak, right? And then that's your video, unedited, done live, kind of thing, no filters kind of thing, right? It was a really good idea, but uh, it didn't do so well. He did make $20 million roughly from it. So, I, mean, I mean, he did good, right? But it could have become a billion dollar company. Unfortunately for him, it didn't. Will this, will Trump's you know, Truth Social become one? I don't know. Time will tell. So look, Donald Trump's son, Donald Trump Jr. has released this link, right? Uh, now, now this is the actual thing, right? This is the actual app on the Apple App Store. This is the App Store right now. Uh, I'll just scroll down and you can kind of pre-order it, I'm pretty sure, but it'll be free as far as I'm aware, right? But you know, that's, that's what it looks like. That's what it looked like. Kind of like Twitter, all right? Uh, truth be told, I will absolutely be joining this because in that video, which I will be linking down below that I made, I deleted my own Twitter. Hang on, hang on, here it is right here. I used to have all these pillows on my lounge, right? I got rid of Twitter after that, after that day happened, you know, I got rid of it. And so many people did. So many influential people and, and normal people left Twitter that day that Trump was banned. It was shocking. If they can do this to Trump, they can do this to anyone. So anyway, I will be joining this and it will be interesting to see how it, put, how it pans out, right? But back to this uh, website again. So a link to the Truth Social website directs users to a sign up uh, for a wait list or pre-order the app via the Apple App Store, which we've just shown you, right? Now these screenshots of the Truth Social app show a user profile that bears a striking resemblance to a, to a Twitter profile. Now the name Truth Social was trademarked by Trump Group Corp in July 2021, according to public findings. So once again, that's what the pictures look like. Uh, shall I just quickly show you? I'll show you in a minute. I'll, I'm gonna show you what the actual thing looks like in a second, all right? Hang on to me. Hang on to me for a second now. So in July, Trump sued Facebook, Twitter, and Google for allegedly censoring him. Now, the companies have so far upheld their bans and suspensions on the former president, uh, though Facebook plans to revisit its decision in two years, like I said before, right? Fuck. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg, mate. What the hell? Anyway, we live in a world where the Taliban has a huge presence on Twitter. Now, this is absolutely right. This, this, this will blow your fucking mind as soon as I tell you this, if you didn't already know. Get ready for this, all right? I'll read this one more time. We live in a world where the Taliban has a huge presence on Twitter, yet your favorite American president, uh, so it says here, has been silenced. Trump said in a statement, this is unacceptable. So murderers, potentially mass murderers, Taliban members have Twitter accounts. And I, I'm not fully sure if they end up getting deleted eventually. In some cases, they don't. They don't. But, but the Taliban members are on Twitter with their little faces and machine guns holding up and stuff like that. Wow, these people have killed untold numbers of, 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 of civilians, right? Yet, you're, yet the world's most powerful man at one point was taken off. If they can do this to him, they can do this to everyone, which means that we are growing into a society that 
put that there. We're growing into a, we're growing, going, going through time and growing into a society that is progressively becoming more, more and more restrictive. Uh, you know, your rights to speak and say what you want are going down the toilet pretty quickly. All right. Continue reading. Now, all right. A Guardian request for a comment from the Trump Media and Technology Group on the news venture was not returned before publication. Uh, okay, this isn't the first time Trump has plotted a return to social media. His previous efforts have included an online communication tool dubbed from the desk of Donald J. Trump, which has been described as a glorified blog. But anyway, that's the end of the article. This is what the actual Truth Social website is, is beginning to look like because it hasn't been launched fully yet they're obviously still tinkering with the code and doing this and doing that behind the scene <coughs> excuse me behind the scenes right this is what it looks like <coughs> oh, i'm gonna die in a minute all right truth social follow the truth so you put your name your last name and your email address i've already done that all right i've already done that and this is what it looks like once you've done it thanks all right registration successful Make sure to share this on Twitter, Facebook, and all your social medias. The truth is out there. That's a good one. I like that. The truth is out there. So there you go. All right. What do you think about this situation? <clears throat> I'm going to cough my lungs out in a minute. Would you join this new social media app? Uh, like, I, like I said, absolutely I'm going to. Whether I continue using it as time goes on, that's another thing entirely. But I will absolutely join it and see what it's like. Will you? Let me know in the comments down below we're on channel two and on channel one we make travel films all around the world instagram facebook youtube no twitter at tall boy gareth this has been a great unedited video and my cat Brittany decided to join today so that's really really cool i've been told my name's gareth see ya